Welcome everyone. We're out at East Lawrence Primary School in our back to school special with Lawrence County Schools. We're here with Dr. James Lawhorn. Welcome to you, Mr. Thank Lawhorn. You. Uh, congratulations on your new position. I appreciate that. Yes, You'll sir. be principal here at, at East Lawrence Primary School. Yes, sir. We're, we're very excited about it. Yeah. Yeah. You got reason to be. It's a great school. Yes, isn't sir. It? Yes, sir. Yeah. And you've been over on the east side for how many years now? Um, this is my fourth year. Yes, sir. I did three years at East Lawrence Middle School. Uh, as the assistant principal, and then a, a year at the East Lawrence Middle School and High School as assistant principal. So, uh, three years total, and this this is starting my fourth year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and prior to that, now let's go back. Uh, you, you're a resident, a lifelong resident of Lawrence County. Yes, sir. I'm from Dexter. Um, uh, I, I taught at West Lawrence High School for um, about ten years um, before before coming over here to, to work in administration. I was a high school math and special education teacher. Yeah. Yes, sir. Wow, special ed, I didn't realize that. Yes, sir. You got a big heart. No, I, I knew that, that anyway, but you, you have to. <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate yeah. it. But you coached as well now. I did. I coached uh, I coached wrestling and I coached uh, football for, for, for a time over there. Uh, wrestling mostly the whole time and football for just a few years. But, yeah, I, I did. You had good success too, didn't you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We won. Um, uh, at the middle school, we won probably about 10 years in a row, somewhere somewhere along there. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yeah. Had, had a good had a good run. Mm -hmm. What's the secret to coaching kids? Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know that there is a secret. I don't yeah. mean, you just have to, you just sure. have to be patient and, yeah. and, and work, work with them. There right? you go. Be try to, try to get them as much practice as possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so uh, you came over to the east side and, and been working through administration work last year again at, at middle school. And yes, so sir. You learned a lot, haven't you? Yes, sir, I have. I, uh, I worked for Dr. Hall the last, uh, the last two years, Mr. Holmes before that. Uh, before that, Mr. Garntos so have had some pretty good administrators to learn from, and yeah. I appreciate everything they've taught me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes, and, and all of them are very even-keeled people like you are, it seems. Yes, sir. They all they all are pretty uh, pretty straightforward and, and and don't get don't get super excited about mm -hmm. a, a lot of things. But yeah, I don't mean that in a bad way. But yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. There's no need to to get too excited about it. You got to solve the problem. Yes, sir. Got to go forward. But let's talk a little bit more about your experiences in life because most people that know you. Mr. Lawhorn, they, they realize that you've been through the military. You served our country. First of all, I'll say thank you for your service. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. But but that's taught you a lot. Now, how did you decide to go into the service? Um, when I first started teaching, uh, I, I had about twenty, I'm at about $20,000 in debt. When looking back on it, it don't seem like that much money. But then it, when I just got out of college, it, it was it, it was a lot you to me. You paid off now, that's so right. it's not as much. That's right. That's right. <laughs> But uh, and, and the recruiter come talk to me one day about joining and told me that uh, he'd help me pay back my loans and so yeah. mm -hmm. went in as an enlisted guy and then mm -hmm. September 2011 they they flew two planes in the in the building so I had been in about six seven months when that happened yeah yes, so you sir. got called up yes sir uh, I got deployed in 2005 to uh, to Iraq to Balad Iraq um, I got deployed again in 2011 to uh, Kandahar and uh, a lot uh, Afghanistan and then this past time I was uh, in 2015-2016 I was in uh, Erbil which is where, um, where the Kurds live in, in Iraq and in uh, and Baghdad some, some in Baghdad mm -hmm. so quite an experience I'm yes sure. sir a lot of we were getting ready for the stuff they're doing now um, in Mosul so we were kind of we were kind of ramping that up kind of getting getting ready for the the Kurds and the, and the Sunnis in, in northern Iraq to, to take back Mosul. Mm -hmm. Gosh, this is a walk in the park, no. working, working as an administrator right. compared to that, isn't it? Yes, sir. Yeah, you, yes, sir. you look at things a lot differently. You know, we uh, people bring up a lot of times how, you know, Americans are pretty spoiled. You know, we get upset about small things. And yes, sir. When you see other parts of the country like that, I'm sure, Mr. Lawhorn, you, you appreciate coming home and, and what, what lifestyle we have here. Uh, so, Mr. Lawhorn, you're married and have a child, right? Yes, sir. Uh, um, I got married in 2011 to uh, to a teacher that taught with me at, at West Lawrence High School. She teaches across the hall. Um, Meredith. Meredith. Meredith Lawhorn. And she uh, teaches biology and and uh, she has taught physical science before, but mostly she just teaches biology and I think next year she may teach an anatomy mm -hmm. um, at West Lawrence High School. So, mm -hmm. and we had, a, we had a young, we had a boy uh, in 2014, December. Uh, his name is Buford. Awesome. Um, uh, so we're, we're excited about him. He's a good time. He's about two and a half now. I bet he is a good time. Yes, sir. Yeah. Now, uh, Mr. Lawhorn, 
throughout school, you've applied yourself very well, uh, and learning seems to come pretty naturally for you. From what I understand, you, you've done quite well in your education. Yes, sir. Um, I, I t I, my dad all, uh, always tells me I ain't really, I'm not really good at anything but school, so that's kind of why <laughs> I got in the school business, I yeah. guess. So, yeah, uh, yeah I went to, went to school for a long time. I finished my daughter in 2010, and mm -hmm. um, have kind of always just been around been around school and I, I enjoy it uh, yeah. been a long time since I've been in elementary school but yeah. but uh, I'm excited by that opportunity as well yeah mm -hmm. so you will have some tremendous opportunities this year we'll talk just for a moment about your uh, support staff so when people show up here at the primary school uh, who will they be greeted by in the front office yes sir uh, Miss Charlotte White and Miss uh, Charlene Fosky they're they're the, our secretaries in, in the front uh, and from from what I understand and what I've been told by by everybody when I took this job that they they uh, they're really in charge. So I'm mean, I'm excited about working with them and yeah. and getting to know them. What and, you might learn from them, uh, they what, might learn from you, right? What, I, what they can teach me. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So you've been real active on the east side. Everyone on the east side says how you are. You're out and about. You you know you were involved with the young people. You've been involved with sports. You attend events. So you're very approachable. Yes, sir. Well, I, I mean I I appreciate them saying that. But yeah, I like to try and go to to most of the to most of the sport, I mean, especially when I worked at the middle school, I tried to go to all the middle school stuff. And mm -hmm. when I when I we picked up the high school last year, I tried to go to as much of the high school stuff as I could, you know, and mm -hmm. still try and balance, you know, the fact that I am a husband you know, yeah. and I have yeah. a little boy. Yeah, so. a little boy. Yes, yeah. Sir. All right, so we're, we're looking ahead now uh, at, at a new school year here. And so if you look and you think about your educational career, you think about the young people and the different ages you've – You've uh, helped with administrating and teaching. Yes, sir. What, what would you say your philosophy on education? If you had to pinpoint and say my philosophy on education is, well, how would you finish that sentence? Well, um, yeah, well, my philosophy on education is, is basically that, you know, that, that we're here for the students. Um, you know, that in, in any good school, uh, I, I, I feel like that I'm part of the support staff and, and my secretaries and, and uh, the other people here that don't, don't teach, we're part of the support staff. Mm -hmm. And we're here to, here to help the teachers uh, help the teachers teach, so so the students can learn. So I mean that, that's that's the ultimate goal is that the students come away with something. And the only way they can do that is if we do our job as a support staff to to help those teachers. That's that's really the most important thing that's going on in the building. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're looking ahead, and it's almost time for back to school, so we'll have an open house coming up. Yes, sir. Share with us about that. Uh, open house on uh, August seventh, uh, Monday, August the seventh, from uh, two to six, two to six. So uh, come on down. Yeah, yeah, come on and okay. meet meet your teacher and mm -hmm. find out what homeroom your kid's going to be in and and, all, and we'll get ready to crank up with a new school year. Okay, what will be different for people who uh, either can think ahead, uh, may not be able to come to that event, but what will be different in the school year as far as dropping off, picking up? Will any there, there be any schedule changes that people need to know about? Um, well, as far as like you know dropping off, picking up and stuff, I, uh, I've only been in the job a week, so I'm not changing. You know, I mean, I don't think it's a good idea for me to change something I hadn't really been a part of. You know, yeah. I mean, hadn't hadn't seen. So mm -hmm. we're gonna look at it, and, and I may change stuff eventually. But mm -hmm. this, at the beginning of this year, we're gonna do things pretty much the way they did them at the end of last year. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, All right. Yes, so sir. no changes on that. No, no, yes, sir. Okay. We wish you the best this year. I know you want to uh, mention to the community. Of course, at times the school needs support. They need the community. Obviously, you always need the community behind you. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Uh. Uh, and the East Lawrence community, or the East Dublin community, they've they've been really good to me at the middle school and and at the high school, and I and I expect that they will. will hopefully, I hope that they'll continue to be to me here. Yeah. Yes, sir. I'm sure. Thank you so much for what you're doing, Dr. Lawhorn. Thank you. I appreciate it. The hottest Silverado trucks are ready to go at Dublin Chevrolet. Save up to 17% off MSRP on Silverado. Call, click, or come see us. Dublin Chevrolet, the only dealer you will ever need. Since the early 1980s, Century 21 Durden Cornegay has proudly served the community's best interest and has grown to consecutively be the number one realtor in Dublin and Lawrence County. And broker George Durden is proud of his team of agents and recognizes Jody Tanner, Jim Jarrett, Pam Tillery, David Deves, Beverly Forbes, Ann Adams, Raina Doverly, Betty Helton, Charlene Brantley, Ruth Watson, Jay Brantley, Charlene Lamp, Yvonne Robertson, and Karen Whitmer. All part of the team of Century 21 Durden Cornegay. And broker George Durden invites you to allow his team to serve you today. If you're buying or selling your home or commercial property, call Century 21 Durden Cornegay. And thank you to the community 
for allowing Century 21 Durden Carnegie to serve you for more than 35 years. July is the time to buy from Dublin Nissan. Dublin Nissan has the Rogue S as low as $29.87. Call, click, or come see us. Dublin Nissan, the only dealer you will ever need. Welcome to East Lawrence Elementary. We're here with Miss Kelly Dean, new principal here at East Lawrence yes. Elementary. A lot of good changes coming our way. There are. Now, Very you've been excited. in the system for 22 years. I've been in education 22 years. I've been here in Lawrence County since 2007. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's been good for the system and good for you, hasn't it's it? It's been great. Um, I don't think I'd work anywhere else right now. Uh, well, Miss Dean, I know East Lawrence Elementary community, East Lawrence community is glad to have mm -hmm. you moving back into the school. Now, tell us about your history over the past few years and, and how you feel like you're kind of coming back home here. Okay, great. Um, I started here in 2007 actually at East Lawrence Elementary as a teacher. So a lot of the teachers here I've had the opportunity to work with. They welcomed me into this community. Mm -hmm. um, I then moved to East Lawrence Primary as the assistant principal and got to know the kids there and those families. And then this past year, I was at East Lawrence Middle High as the assistant principal. Mm -hmm. So I really feel like I'm kind of embedded in the East Lawrence community now, know these kids, these families, these teachers. And um, like I said before, I'm kind of coming full circle, coming back here now as the principal and very excited about it. Okay. So if you look over your uh, educational experience, over your opportunities as an administrator mm -hmm. uh, throughout school, you've had different administrators, you've had different leaders that you've been associated with. Now, you pulled a lot of probably good and sometimes you know things you might mm -hmm. want to improve on that's mm -hmm. what we do in life right but, but what is your philosophy going forward here for the elementary school what's your philosophy on education um, I feel like education is a real tool for kids um, education is the one thing that's going to give them something later on in life so as an elementary child we want to give them the tools and the skills necessary for when they head to middle and high and then eventually on life um, I have some non-negotiables kind of as an administrator um, three things that when these children enter this building I want them to have and that's safety I want every parent to know that their child is safe when they enter this building that they don't have to worry about them that they're well loved um, and then the third thing is is that they're getting a quality education so every day from eight to four we're going to give our best we're going to give a hundred percent we don't get a do-over when they're here with us from third through fifth grade we don't get to redo it so we want to make sure that they're safe loved and get a quality education every single day that's wonderful miss dean i know a lot of good things are going to come out of you working here with this uh, particular part of the east lawrence mm -hmm. system and we thank you for what you've done so far and, and look forward to covering things in the future. But about how many students will you have at elementary school? Um, we, we fluctuate a little bit, but usually we have a little over 500 students here. Mm -hmm. Got yeah. your hands full. We do, but you know, when you come into our building each day and we welcome people to come in, they're busy, they're active, they're engaged, so it never feels like there's 500 kids in the building. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I know you have a great staff. Now, when people come I in, do. if they haven't been here before, mm -hmm. who will they be greeted by in the office? Well, we are really excited that we have a new office set up this year, so we welcome people to come out and see our new outside setup in our mm -hmm. new office. Mm -hmm. But our two secretaries this year will be Miss Edna Williams and Miss Jana Tony, and they'll be welcoming people. They're kind of our first impression when you come in. Um, and we always welcome parents in our building, but we ask that they come to the office, give a visitor's pass sure. um, to make sure that we have safety. We know what adults are in our building. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, tell us about your family. Okay. Um, I have a wonderful husband, Jack Dean. He's a golf professional and he teaches golf in the area and in Perry. And then I have two wonderful daughters. I have one that's in high school, a 10th grader, and one that's going into fifth grade. So I definitely have had some experiences with different grade levels and they keep me busy and keep me young. <laughs> that's a good thing. Yeah, it sure is. And you know, we feed so much into our children. We want them to be more accomplished than we are. And that's what we want for all the system Absolutely. throughout. But Lawrence County uh, schools, Lawrence County school systems are, is a, a vital part of our community, mm -hmm. obviously. It, it is a, a growing part and people choose to go to whatever school they may choose. What's the best advantage of people coming to East Lawrence Elementary? Um, I really feel like, and I've only worked on the east side um, mm -hmm. since we've been here, that we really have a community atmosphere. We have a family atmosphere. I'd put our teachers up against anybody. I feel like we have some of the best over here. Mm -hmm. 
Um, but I feel like when your children are here, again, they're going to have that family atmosphere, they're going to be loved, but they're also going to get that quality education. And I think we look out for each other and look out for our children. Um, I really want our schools to be kind of a hub in the East Lawrence community. We want parents to come in if they need computers, if they need resources we have here, then we're more than willing to let them do that. So we want to be an outreach and a community to the East Lawrence community. Now, Ms. Dean, this is the beginning of the year, so it's a uh open house time. Mm -hmm. Tell us about open house. We have open house on August 7th. That's from 2 to 6. And during that time, we'll have our class rosters up. We'll have our um, supply list. They can come in and meet their teachers. They can kind of do a tour of the building. Mm -hmm. So we really encourage our parents to come during that time. That's a great time to ask questions so that on August 8th, when they come in in that morning, they're comfortable, they're ready to go, and they have a good feeling of the building. Okay, and so this year you have construction going on outside. We do, we do. It'll be a little bit different layout when people come out. What would you yes. need to advise people on as far as scheduling, uh, coming to school and, and leaving school? Um, definitely give us some grace that first week or two because with a new schedule and a new layout, it's going to be a little bit different. Um, we'll have instructions and we'll have plenty of adults outside kind of telling people where to go. Um, at open house, we're going to have a sheet laid out that will give them instructions on how to pick up but we have a new car rider pickup system, so just give us a little grace that first week. It may be a little bit longer than normal, but we hope it's going to add to the safety and the um, efficiency of picking up your children. Thank you so much. Ms. You're Kelly welcome. Dean, Thank everyone. you. I'm excited Lisa about the Elementor. school year. I know what you're thinking. There's a dad that makes fathering look easy, but before Pacifica, he had his hands full. Now you see a man who's able to stow and go with ease, but he wasn't always that man. Now thanks to our Pacifica, dad can put his mistakes behind him. Well, most of them. Booyah! Yeah. Chrysler Pacifica is now the highest ranked minivan in initial quality by J.D. Power. Get 0% APR for 60 months on the 2017 Chrysler Pacifica, plus 500 bonus cash and 500 Chrysler Capital bonus cash. See Dublin Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram at 2050 Highway 441 South in Dublin. Call 272-3500, 1-800-GO-DODGE, or log on to DublinChrysler.com. Dr. Jackson Fordham proudly announces the opening of his new dental office on Fairview Park Drive in Dublin. Dr. Fordham and his staff have been providing our community with professional dental care for more than 30 years. Dr. Fordham would like to take this opportunity to thank all of his existing customers and invite new ones to call for an appointment today. Enjoy your next visit to the dentist. Call Dr. Jackson Fordham at 272-4051. Make an appointment today. Dr. Jackson Fordham, proudly serving all our community. A lot of people don't know that Nationwide Insurance is the largest farm insurer in the country. Example, this tractor. There's multiple ways to cover your equipment. It is replacement cost, actual cash value, insuring the GPS system on it. In addition to tractors, we also cover any implements that you would like to cover like this front end loader as a value added to your tractor or on its own. A lot of times the only way we will insure a farm is if we come to your site. We're going to walk it, we're going to talk it, we're going to find out what you do and what your interests are. We're going to customize it so that you get full benefit with the broadest coverage that's available on the market today. A lot of people find out at the time of a claim that they were not properly covered. That is my worst fear. So we make sure going in that you are covered properly. Don't forget to insure your sprayer. A lot of people say, I rode by and didn't see you at your office. That's cause I was probably on a farm. All right, we'll welcome you out, ladies and gentlemen, to East Lawrence High School, East Lawrence Middle School, where we have Dr. O.J. Hall. And Dr. Hall, it's been a busy time and a lot of things going on at East Lawrence getting ready for a new school year. Yes, we've had a busy summer. Um, if you can get some shots to look around this commons area, you can see that it has been completely um, remodeled. We've also uh, constructed the front entrance to have a double entry uh, for safety purposes because that is our number one concern is to keep our students safe and then to educate them. Also, in, in, in concerns of safety, if you, if you get an opportunity to look out back, you see what we created three lanes to hopefully help traffic flow better and to provide our kids a safe crossing as some have to go from, from the middle school to the elementary and we have a sports complex, what we call up on the, on the hill as well. Mm -hmm. Now, the, the 
double entry where everyone that comes into the school has to go through the office is something that has been needed. I, I see it throughout the state and throughout the nation. It's just a, a practice that's smart. Isn't that it? is correct. Um, throughout the state and the country, most buildings you enter that have kids or, or that try to put safety out of, as, as a very high priority, mm -hmm. you see they have to go through a check-in process. And so nobody will be able to enter our building without going through the office and being guided through with permission from an administrator or one of our secretaries. Well, Dr. Hall, you have some changes with your administration this year. You've had some people move on to other administrative positions that were helping you, and then you have some people that have come in. So it's been a little bit of change at East Lawrence, right? That is correct. Um, Dr. Lawhorn was, was, uh, has been given the opportunity to be the principal at East Lawrence Primary, and Ms. Kelly Dean, who's one of my assistant principals last year as well, is now the new principal at, at East Lawrence Elementary, which is great for the east side, for both of those individuals to be at those schools and then feed into our middle and high school. So we did have to kind of restructure. So Ms. Janelle Butler, who was my instructional coach at the um, middle school last year is now our assistant principal for instruction at the high school. Dr. Joni Barras is going to take her place as the instructional co one of the instructional coaches at the at East Lawrence Middle High School. We're also blessed to get Tim Allen, who's going to be an instructional coach at East Lawrence Middle High School, and we also have Miss Megan Sharrow, who's coming to us from from the Douglasville area, who's going to be an assistant principal for East Lawrence Middle and High School. So yes, we have had some changes, mm -hmm. but they're all great changes. We lost great people to. Um, to, to promotions in their in their area, and then we gain great people. So we we've been blessed this off season. Yeah, so when to say. people meet those uh, those people that you're saying that are coming in, they're going to be highly impressed because you know as well as I do throughout the system, uh, they've proven themselves over the years, and, and that's what it takes. You want to grow. That is correct. Uh, Miss Kelly Dean at ELE and Dr. Lawhorn at EFP are going to do a phenom phenomenal job. I've had the opportunity to work with both of them over a period of time in, in multiple capacities, mm -hmm. uh, from SATS accreditation with Miss Kelly Dean to co-teaching with Dr. Lawhorn. We were both classroom uh, mm -hmm. teachers. We kind of came on through the, through the ranks together. But yes, the community is going to be proud. They're going to represent the community well, and they do a great job. Mm -hmm. Now, you've done an exceptional job here, Dr. Hall, in, in uh, fitting in and growing and bringing on a good team and developing a, a good rapport throughout the community. And it doesn't just happen. You have a lot of support at home, don't you? I, I do. Um, I don't know how much I've done, but the teachers here at East Middle High and the students here at East Middle High and the community in East Dublin have been phenomenal. They have done done great. They have bought into the vision that we're trying to push for our students to exceed and all that they all that they do. And sometimes change is a process, mm -hmm. and it takes buy-in. And our community and our faculty and staff and our students have have bought into that. And in order for me to to do what I do. Um, it does require a lot of support from home. Mm -hmm. um, so my wife, Erica, who's a kindergarten teacher um, in a neighboring county, and, and she, we got a little two-year-old, and anybody know what, what that age is like at home. So I couldn't do what I do for East Lawrence Middle High School if she did not do what she did at home for our, our family. So I do have a good support system at home, but I have a great support system from this community as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, and it's a wonderful community. Everybody says that about East Lawrence. When we cover sporting events, when we cover different events for uh, civic clubs, uh, drama, what have you, there's always a tremendous turnout from this community. I tell everybody it's the best kept secret. <laughs> that's, that's what I tell everybody I run into that asks me, how's it going, how do you like it, um, et cetera. I'm headed into my third year total over here on East Side in general. I'm headed into my third year as the principal at East Middle into my second year at East Lawrence High School. But I can tell you in both buildings, um, it's one of the best kept secrets in this, in this area. Dr. Hall, what would you say your, your goal is, your, your goal for this coming year and going forward? I have a very common philosophy I, um, that, I, that I like to think I have for my students. A lot of people like to focus on the test score. Some like to focus on all the other accolades that come with it. My goal as a principal, what I try to share with my staff to impart that vision upon our students, is to provide a holistic 21st century education um, for our students. And what I mean by holistic is, yes, I'm concerned with how well they perform academically and athletically but I'm also concerned and want them to have good emotional um, health. I want them to have good physical health. I want them to enjoy school and to enjoy life. And so the ultimate goal is we try to provide them a cutting edge, holistic 21st century education that's going to prepare them to go out into the world and not just show how smart they are, but show that they can say good morning, <laughs> show that they can be on time for work and just show that they know how to treat their fellow co-workers. So our ultimate goal is to provide a holistic education that will prepare our kids for a 21st century job market that we now know is global. Well, we're coming up on uh, 
back to school time, of course, that means open house. That's that means right open up. house. We're excited about open house on August 7th from 2 o'clock to 6 o'clock p.m. I encourage everybody from the community that got a child that goes to East Lawrence Middle High School, any school in the Lawrence County District, to be sure to bring their kids out to meet their teachers. Uh, there's nothing like that face-to-face -face interaction between a teacher um, and a parent and a student all at the same time. If you want to see a kid succeed, you get the teachers and the parents and the kid all on one page, and that is a strong recipe for a high rate of success. We appreciate what you do, Dr. Hall, and I know we're looking forward to a successful year. And I appreciate what you and TV35 uh, consistently does throughout the year from athletics to academics to clubs and organizations to broadcast the good things we have going on here at East Lawrence Middle High School.